Hi believers, it's a girl, Nekche Bibian. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and you are old subscriber, thank you. Thank you. Jesus loves you. So today, without taking much of our time, today we have Bible study and prayers. Or you can call, you can say scripture reading and prayers anyone as far as we are studying our bible so we don't have any issues with that or calling it any name we want to say it doesn't matter okay as far as we are talking about jesus you know the drill so today today's scripture reading is going to be from colossians chapter 3 verse 5 to 10 so it says you must put to death then the earthly desires at work in you, such as sexual immorality, indecency, lust, evil passions, and greed. Because of such things, God's anger will come upon those who do not obey him. At one time, you yourselves used to live according to such desires when your life was dominated by them. But now you must get rid of all these things, anger, passion, and hateful feelings, no insults or obscene talk must ever come from your lips. Do not lie to one another, for you have taken off the old self with its habits and have put on the new self. This is the new being which God, its creator, is constantly renewing in his own image in order to bring you to a full knowledge of himself. So, sorry that today I'll be talking I'll be reading from my book today because I jot down everything on my book. So today's observations from this scripture, God is trying to tell us to stop having these earthly desires, which they have already mentioned, such as sexual immorality, indecency, lust, evil passions, and greed, and many of them, because God says that his anger is sufficient for those that, do, that disobey his teachings. So God wants us to be renewed in his own image in order to bring us to a full knowledge of himself. Because when you drop all the acts, when you drop all this sinful behavior of yours, you will be more knowledgeable to what the teaching of God is being is, is saying because if you don't drop this act there's no how you can bring yourself closer to knowing god fully and that is what he wants from you because he's your father and you are his child he doesn't want you to deviate from him so this is what this scripture said so how are we going to apply this teaching to our daily life? Number one, you need to stop sexualizing your body. A lot of us ladies love to sexualize our body. We want our body to look this type of way. So we go get BBL. We want to dress this type of way. Reason is to attract the opposite sex. This is not supposed to be so. God, this body that, that you have, it is given to you by God. Why are you not using your body to glorify God's name? And you're using your body to please your, your earthly desires. You want to attract men. You want to dress this way for you to make money. When people look at you, are you or you, you sexualize your body so much that you can't even think straight without thinking that, oh, you must give this. If you don't give your, your sexuality to a man, you cannot meet up 
to this or that and god wants you to stop sexualizing your body because if you as if you sexualize your body where do you want the holy spirit to dwell in because god said that our body is a temple of the holy spirit if you sexualize your body your body is no longer a temple your body is a prostitute's house because that's where like that's where stupid people go and come out go in come out go in so don't be that number two try to maintain healthy relationships with people what do i mean by that try and call your friends if there are friends that you have forgotten for a very long time and you don't know their were about but you always think about them try and call them to know how they are doing try to have a genuine connection with people don't be the bad friend be the good friend be the good stranger don't be the bad stranger always try to do good to people regardless if they will do good to you or not it doesn't matter because god loves us regardless when we are so sinful so why won't you love your fellow neighbor so this is what this particular one is saying so number three god wants us to get rid of people that influence us negatively hmm. many of us are in this situation today because a lot of people want to be around people so they don't care if those people like possess them in a negative way if they influence them in a very bad or demonic way they don't care as far as they're in the midst of people as far as they are communicating but that gathering is not of god is it that you don't understand the people that you associate yourself with they smoke they drink they sleep around with women and men they commit abomination and you see yourself in that circle my dear, you need to leave that circle. You need to leave that circle if you want God to liberate you, if you want God in your life. Move away from those people. Those people are not good for you. Go to church. Pray. If there are no good people that you can associate yourself with, if there are always negative people that are around you, then be alone. Be on your own because you are not really alone. God is always with you. So why won't you try your best to stay on your own and then think about your life. Think about what you want for yourself rather than associating yourself with people of deadly minds, people that don't push you closer to be with God. People that don't even, that don't value you. You you surround yourself with evil. You surround yourself in a, in a bad environment with bad people. This is time for you to come out if you are in that situation. God is calling on you. God is dragging, is trying to drag you out from me. Please hold on to our maker. And come off of these evil people that you have surrounded yourself in. So, the next one is that you need to stop washing porn. This is an addiction. It's an addiction. I'm not lying to you. I've been there before. But, man, God is good. That's why you need self-discipline in your life. When you know that this is where you are headed... You get, you discipline yourself. Even when you want to fall back to that, you discipline yourself because you know where you are headed. It wasn't easy for me. I'm not lying. I dealt with it. I fought hooks and cracks for it. But at the end of the day, I won the devil because that is what I want for myself. Whenever I see where these type of things are being displayed i remove my eye like sharply i don't even spend all my time on social media again i spend my time on youtube because i learn from youtube i follow um other christian channels because i want to build my faith and also i i try to know the type of movies i watch as well i don't watch any type of movies again and also what i listen to because man 
demons can be in any form demons can be in form of music or in form of movies that you are watching and you and, you, and as a christian girl or a boy that you are you are like no it's not me it's just a movie it might be just a movie but you don't know what is being accumulated in your mind so please stop watching porn it's no good it destroys you i'm going to make another video on what porn really does to a christian girl and boy so you understand how how devilish how abominable washing porn can be so stick to my channel if if you really want to know more about this particular you know so next one be contented with what you have yes be contented because a lot of ladies nowadays or a lot of men nowadays because they are not contented with what they have they are so greedy to make money they are so greedy to be popular they involve themselves with things that they are not supposed to involve themselves with especially like your celebrities that you are following you don't know a you have you don't know what they involve themselves in just to be rich just to be popular just to be famous the way they are and you are there saying i want to be like them don't claim what you don't know don't claim what you don't know say you want to be your dream you want to be what god god assigned for you to be don't go and be claiming another person's abomination and saying oh, you want to be like that person <laughs> It's better you start trying to be what God wants you to be in your life so that your life will be more straightforward as you want it to be. So please be contented with what you have. Share these ladies of nowadays that are into, I can't really tell, um, that are into, is it? only fans is that what they call it right they are now in only fans just just because they need fast money and all of them will be like oh that they have daddy issues you know i'm not blaming anybody for you know choosing some things that they chose in their life but i feel like now is the time to come to christ 2024 is a year of liberation so why are you not putting effort to liberate yourself from the past traumas from the past that you have been doing from the evil life that i've been living stop trying to stop trying to look for easy money there's no easy money anywhere even god did not even make a bracatabra and make easy money anywhere there's no easy money anywhere you need to work to make your ends meet can you hear me and please try and do legit work there's no easy money anywhere you get if you want the easy money that means that you are calling on devil to use you as an advocate so the next one please get rid of your hot temperedness a lot of people are so hot temperedness they don't know it's a sin being hot tempered is a big sin because why why can't you control yourself because when you are in the Lord, you must control yourself. Those things that you feel like, oh, it's normal. It's not normal. There are a lot of things that society have normalized now. That is not normal at all. Hot temperedness is not normal. Please. And I hate when people be like, oh, my zodiac sign. I am a cancer, so I cannot. I'm a Taurus, so I am Tarisin. Oh, I'm an Iris. Oh, I'm a Gemini. Gemini. I beg please I'm begging you stop using that to confuse yourself you are not anything you are just a pencil in the hand of the Creator so please try and control yourself whenever someone says something hurtful to you don't speak reflect on what that person said leave that place if you can't hold back yourself leave that place entirely go somewhere else reflect on it even though the person is at fault or you are at fault you, at that moment you don't care because you are so angry so if you can't control yourself leave that place stay somewhere else reflect 
if it's going to take you like you know that if, if whenever you open your mouth it's going to be an abusive word that is going to fly out from your mouth or it it makes you um you know go physical with the person please don't do that leave that place these people are not worth it people that make you angry they are not worth it they just need a reaction from you is it that you have not understood it they need a reaction from you there are people that are devils in human form so don't fall into that temptation don't fall into their hands and you are thinking that oh you are trying to defend yourself vengeance is for god stop defending yourself nobody cares nobody cares vengeance is for god leave revenge for god to do just leave that place stop being hot temperedness it won't take you to anywhere try and be a better person be slow to anger because when you are slow to anger you can be able to listen when someone talks to you you can be able to reflect you can you can be able to reflect to know if you are wrong or if you are right and know how to solve that issue with kindness okay okay so the next one is put your mouth into good use like praying with it rather than lying and insulting people with it many of us ladies or uh, men because it's no, it's no longer a woman thing now. Men also gossip, men insult, men bring abuses on people nowadays. So it's, it's a thing of everybody. It's a generalized something you get. So <laughs> when I think about it, I remember um, a guy that was bringing abuses on a girl yesterday. When we were coming, we were just, he, he approached the girl for her contact so the girl said no that she doesn't want to give her contact to him this guy just couldn't accept the rejection he started insulting the girl started telling the girl how ugly that she is that she doesn't know how to dress well that he wanted to manage her like can you imagine <laughs> it's so crazy that a lot of men women out there can't accept rejection like it's so crazy and you don't even know how to control the words of your mouth. But on Sunday, you see that same guy on Sunday, he will be in the pulpit crying his eyes out, praying to God for forgiveness of this and that and that. But when he comes out from that altar and goes home, he goes back to being the devil that he is. So you guys need to stop insulting people, stop gossiping about people. If you, if you are if you are there then try to stop following those friends that make you talk about people like whenever you you, you are in in that arena when you are when you are in that enclosed place or you are out with friends and and they are talking about people and you know that you can't control yourself you must talk about people maybe you can just be one of those friends that will tell them can we stop talking about people and talk about what we want to do for ourselves you get because when people start talking about people you you think it's normal it's nothing the next thing you will start insulting those people from insulting then there will be anger there will be frustration you start talking about things that you don't even mean just to be just to be in the same level with those with those lukewarm minded people don't do that this is your time to leave those situations you don't need to be there god wants you to be better god wants you to talk with kindness god wants you to do what talk with kindness talk with love be gentle you don't have to be harsh you don't have to to, to have to have bad bad intentions for people it's not christ-like minimize the way you you 
you said i'm not even saying minimize the way stop insulting people stop gossiping about people at all at all it is no good rather use your mouth and pray to god pray to god with your mouth say thank you if someone insults you if you if you want to insult a person back don't say anything rather say thank you thank you and then you reject whatever if there's something bad the person said about you reject it in that person's front you just say i rebuke I rebuke all these bad words that you're saying about me. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Just rebuke it. You don't have to say it back to the person. Say you rebuke it. And then just turn your own. Okay? Yeah. So, God helps those who help themselves. You always say that you want to like come out from these you know earthly desires you don't want to be you don't want to be doing sin you know it's not easy you get but you need to take a step if you don't take a step there's no how god is going to take these steps with you you must make a step for him to know how he can push you forward if you don't take a step you're always saying oh you want to stop this you want to stop lying you want to stop insulting people you want to stop your anger issues but you are not working towards it then how will god help you god helps those who help themselves you need to make a step forward first for him to know how he's going god to forgive you you need to show that you are serious about you know dropping these acts for god to you know know how he's going to help you and then the last but not the least god is forgiving god forgives us regardless of anything that we have done he forgives us he's a he's a father that his heart is so big god's heart is so big that he can contain even those sinful behaviors of yours that you think that you can't come out from god's heart is so big he can contain it all he will forgive you the thing there is are you ready are you ready to, to, for God to possess you? Are you ready? Are you ready to lay your life for Christ? Are you ready for this forgiveness? Are you ready to speak your truth? If you are ready, then God is ready for you. There's no sin that God can't forgive. There's no sin that is too big for God to forgive. So before we end today's scripture, scripture reading and prayer, we must pray, right? Yes. So close your eyes wherever you are. So we pray to our Father. Heavenly Father, we your children have come to you today to seek for your forgiveness and guidance over our lives. We beg you to make us a better human and help us to see sin as what it is, which is destruction. Renew us and make us clean from our iniquity, so that you will make yourself knowledgeable to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We have come to the end of today's scripture reading. So I hope you learned something. And may the peace of the Lord continue to be with you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel and you watch this video to the end, please do that. Like my subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share this beautiful scripture reading that we did today with your family and friends. Will you do that? If you will, please comment in the comment section. Bye.